Good morning, thriving entrepreneurs and all small business owners. I hope everybody had a great weekend. It's hard to believe that we're in June already, and it's already halfway through June. So summer, summer's already going pretty quickly. So I hope everybody's doing well. Readjusting here in Montana, we're starting to readjust and things are reopening. Things are starting to emerge again. Things People are starting to go out and support businesses. And I think that's great. We all need to do that. Of course, being socially distant and socially safe, but it's good to get out there and support. But what I wanna talk about today for your business boost is I'll talk a little bit about consumer behavior because in the past few, just even in the past few months uh, with this pandemic and the change in the economy, has really changed the way that we operate as consumers. And as small business owners and entrepreneurs, we need to think about our consumers a little bit differently and serve our consumers differently because that's really what we're in the business of doing is creating relationships with people and getting to a point where we can all be a part of the same, be on the same field. We all have the same type of interaction. We are all interested in valuing similar things. And it's not just a transaction. As a consumer, we want to be a part of something. And I and in this age of uh, online promotion, in this age of social distancing, we are flooded with messages uh, every day from multiple different channels, different areas. And, and <clears throat> we just don't know, we, we just have to pick and choose who we really want to connect with. So the point of consumer behavior is that your consumers are becoming a lot more intelligent. Your consumers are intelligent anyway, but they're smarter. They're looking for other solutions or looking for other options, but then your consumers are also searching for a, an interaction and they're searching for that human connection because we've been social distancing for the past few months and it's really challenging to do that. So we're searching for that human connection. So as entrepreneurs and small business owners, it becomes even more imperative that we attempt to connect with our consumer or potential consumer on an emotional level and create and, and go into the whole idea of creating a business relationship and having a business transaction with another person as a product of a relationship, not just an exchange in money. So the consumer behavior has changed. There's there's much more emotional level of buying. Uh, we are flooded with information. So we as consumers connect with people and brands much more than we do products or services. If I want to, if I want to go buy insurance from somebody or buy a house from somebody, or I want somebody to be my business coach that I'm not just going to, I'm, I'm going to go to somebody that I'm referred to or somebody that is, has that good review or somebody that provides an excellent service. It's much more about relationships than it is about the actual service that you're providing. <clears throat> so as entrepreneurs, it's important to think about that. What are the, and there's a few simple things that we can do as small business owners to be able to create that connection and enable that trust a lot, a lot easier if you're coming from the coming from the business side of things, if I don't know somebody, what's an immediate way I can create that trust? One of them is you being you personally being involved with the transaction. That people want to know who you are. If you are going to spend money on a high ticket item, like you're going to buy a house, you're going to buy insurance, you're going to invest in your business, whatever that is, then we want to know who you are. We've got to tell some of your story or some of your reason of why you're doing what you're doing. You're not doing what you're doing just to make money. You're doing what you're doing because you enjoy what you're doing uh, and, and you want to be a part of that. You want to help people in the long run. That's why I'm a business coach because I love working one-on-one -on -one with people and I love that problem solving and I also like that interaction and the, and I, the strategic planning, it's really, fun for me and it's very fulfilling, but if my audience doesn't know that and I don't use that as a part of my marketing, then it's really challenging to create those connections. So telling your story and telling your connection to your profession is one, one thing that's really important. What's the why behind what you are talking about? That's one, one way that we can begin to create that trust and begin to create that connection with clients 
that we don't that we don't know. Um, another way that we can do that, because we always want to, we always want to, oh, Thomas, it's great to see that comment. Um, <laughs> we always want to build that trust. And a way that we can build that trust is having that personal connection, but also being completely transparent about what we're doing. And that's being completely transparent about what our offer is and exactly what it is that we do. So when we are enrolling somebody into this idea and, and having, having a conversation with somebody to enroll them into the conversation and to talk about what we can do to build that business and build that relationship, to be completely transparent about it. And that's setting your goals, but then it's also having a clear articulation of what it is you're offering. Having just a, just a one idea, one sheet, one proposal that you can tell the audience, tell your business, tell in your business transaction, you can say, it, when we are in a business relationship, this is how things are going to proceed. This is the schedule. This is what you can expect from me. This is what I expect from you. So there's more of a, the ground rules are set and everybody is, I, I'm a communication professor and we all understand that everybody feels more comfortable when the ground rules are set and we know what's going on and there's transparency because that transparency, when there's not that transparency, then there could be that backdoor hidden agenda that's happening. Uh, we, nobody likes to be sold to. We don't like the, not to talk about car sales, but we don't like being sold to. We don't like those super aggressive salespeople. But if you identify what that, what your goal is in the conversation and be transparent about it, then that is where, that's where you can really create those connections with potential clients. So we talked about telling your story, telling your why, how that's really key with creating trust having transparency and having a clear articulation of what your business does. Uh, that is really key to helping build trust in that relationship. The last thing you can do is to create this, to create this connection with people is to connect with people on an emotional level. And that is telling your story, but also identifying what are the, if you have a business transaction with me, or you're a real estate agent or whatever it is that you do, that the results of that transaction, that we don't really understand what the results are. I know if I'm working with an insurance agent, I know that I get insurance at the end of that. But if I have insurance, that leads to many other benefits or other, other things that we can point to. We call those tangible results. So identifying what the tangible results are. If I go into the conversation and I say, I'm a business coach and I can do this for your business and you can see these tangible results, this type of increase in your profit and your income, I have those tangible results, but then it also leads to these intangible results. And these intangible results are more, more around the idea of the value that it provides to you. So if I can provide you not only the tangible results of providing you more profit, but that allows you to have more productivity in your organization and to reach more people and to be able to connect with more people. Pointing your audience toward those tangible and intangible results are critical in creating that relationship because then your audience can see where they're going. They can see what's going to happen if they engage in a business transaction with you. Point your audience toward that golden result. What do they want to achieve? And that has, as an entrepreneur and as a business owner, it's critical that we have that understanding about our client base. So we have, so, so we know what their needs are. We know what their priorities are. If their priority is having more, if more time to spend with their family, then, then that's all a part of the conversation that you have with them. If the, their goal is to make more money, then that should be the result that they're pointing towards. So in the enrollment conversation, in the offer, it's important to have that emotional connection and to point the results out first. In addition to that, the whole program that I have, the Thriving Entrepreneur Program, is all about differentiating you from your competition in this flooded market. 
uh, when everybody is forced online, we're all trying to get clients, the few clients that are out there. Now that things are reemerging, there's a lot more competition. So how do you differentiate yourself? How do you make that emotional connection? And how do you begin those relationships before it even starts? So before we even get into a conversation with somebody. So think about a few of those things with your own business and how you can provide some of those things. Um, I invite you to join the Thriving Entrepreneur Mastermind that I have with the people that are in the program, but you can come for free and check it out. Uh, it's every Thursday at 11 o'clock and I have, I'll send out, there's a Zoom, Zoom call link that I'll send out and you're welcome to join. We talk about these issues in depth and we, we have problem solving sessions for the industries that are represented. And I would love to get on a call with you if you wanna talk about business and you wanna talk about how to, how to make your business better. Show up every Monday to do this business boost to help entrepreneurs, small business owners like you improve their business. We all, there's so many challenges out there right now and the best way to improve it is having some collaboration having some discussion about it, moving forward together, because that's how your business succeeds. So I hope to see you on Thursday at 11 o'clock. And uh, if not, I'll see you next Monday at 11 o'clock here. It's great to see, uh, uh, say, Chris and Delaney and Bill. It's great to see you all, Thomas, in the chat. And I hope to be able to connect with you all soon. Have a great week and uh, happy June. I can't believe that we're here already. So talk to you soon.